All right, we can stop with the uh, I feel sorry for Adrian Peterson's dance partner if they get knocked out early. See that? <laughs> He's trying to discipline his child. Wow. In a poor way back in the day. All day, Adrian, <laughs> out of East Texas. This says she may not be an A-lister, but Lily Ponds is a looker. There you go. We now know the full cast of this upcoming season uh, of Dancing Where was with she the- from? Uh, YouTube. Oh, she was a U- okay. She's a YouTuber. She's an influencer, Venezuelan you know? content creator, Ven- Venezuelan okay. YouTuber. Well, that makes sense. She people like to look at her. Lily Pons. Mm-hmm. She's good looking. She's twenty seven. Okay, from, uh, I did the research about Dancing with the Stars. She got thirty two seasons. You have ten. Sorry, thirty two seasons. Yeah, and you have uh, ten football players who placed. They they usually got like, first. They got uh, runner up, and then there's third ten. place. Ten. So ten of them have placed. Three of them have won the damn thing outright. Emma Smith won it. Heinz Ward won Dancing with the Stars. And Rashad Jennings won it. Uh, the runner-ups are Jerry Rice was a runner-up. Jason Taylor was a runner-up. Warren Sapp was a runner-up. Um, also, Josh Norman was a runner-up. Third place, Calvin Johnson. Jacoby Jones was a third place. And I believe that is it so football player if you want to, if you're betting money ties a betting man uh football players usually do really well if you're betting them just to end up placing and dancing with the stars there you go of all the go. different you know professions that end up doing it i'll say football players are definitely one of the the, the high six higher success rates all right good there stuff you. right there D- deep dive on random with the stars. i told you it's random there you go well, it's, it's funny. Our man Zay Collar used to produce our show, and Zay was a big, uh, he watched uh, Dancing with the Stars with his lady. That and so uh, he know, The Bachelor. Yeah. The Bachelor. Oh, The Bachelor. And yeah. The Bachelorette. Hey, I wanted to be on The Bachelor. I was going, I was, my plan was to be the first black bachelor at one point. I actually did auditioned. You try out? You did? I auditioned, yeah. I auditioned in Austin. He came to Austin auditioning for uh, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. The one after, I think I did like a 45 minute audition, that video and everything. Dang. And there's somewhere there's, there's evidence of this. Actually, my man, you know, Gary Green. I know Garrett Green was our producer. Now, now the, it's the play-by-play uh, co- play voice, right? The Sugarland Space Cowboys. Yes, uh, he he went with me, so I got a witness that I was I actually went there. He actually videoed the whole thing because we did a bit. That's back when Rob was a young radio guy, so I was doing bits, uh, and that was one of my we bits. Still do I, bits? Yeah, we still do bits, but now tied us a bit. I'm a little too old for all the bits, so now tied us a bit. We do a bit every now and then, but you know that was a you know you got to commit to the bit. So I committed to the bit, went there and tried out. Uh, auditioned, I should say, and the woman s- she said, you know what, I don't necessarily like you as the Bachelor, because I want to be the first black Bachelor. She said, I, she said, I love you as one of the contestants on the Bachelorette. And Rod said, hell no. Uh, no, actually, I was interested. I was like, you know what, it's not a bad idea. I went to, uh, I believe it was John Danny was our boss at the time, and I asked him about it, and he's like, honestly, for the show, it wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> he's like, go out there. I never we, knew this Great story. content for the show. Uh, so I, uh, I got approval, kind of, and I was thinking about it, because she sent me a follow-up email. She's like, hey, if you want to pursue this, you know, send me some information. We can try to work this out. And I was, I just started dating my now wife, just started dating her. And I literally, I've been probably dating a couple of months. And I went to her and I was like, hey, listen, I got this chance to go on this reality TV show, The Bachelor. And I, I told her, I said, listen, if you sign off on this thing and you're cool with it, when I win, because I'm a competitor, I was planning on winning the damn thing. Like, I'm going like, to you know, I'm a, I'm a go on the back. You got to get like, married, right? I got to go win. You got to end up no, in the, in the honeymoon suite. I told her. I said, I really like you. I think you're great. I said, when I go on there, I, when, I, when I win and I'm supposed to like propose to her, I will tell them, honestly, I'm in love with another woman. Oh, and man. you're the other drama. woman. I'm going to be like, yes, boom. I was going to create the drama. The, the nation, what a nation was watching. Well, that's I was when gonna, you become, oh. but you know that's when you become the scorn of no, 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 all no. females. No, 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 I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Because the way I was going to work it out was to be like, listen, I realized that I'm in love with someone else. I don't want to do this. I this needed be this wrong. show to realize boom, it. Boom, boom. And then me and her would end up getting our own follow-up reality TV show. Oh. And if my wife, uh, now my, I was dating it, if she dumped me, I had a plan to basically become the next bachelor because they'd ever be like, you know what, we're really interested in you. We like the way you do she things. Scorned the him. villain. Uh it had been great. I had it all planned out. And then my wife was like, if you go on that show, we're we're breaking up. Like, don't, <laughs> I'm Long not gonna be with you if we go on that show. And I was like, this I was like, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna side with you. I'm gonna tell everybody I'm in love with you, whatever. She's like, No, I'm not doing that. And that that shattered my dreams of becoming the first black well, bachelor. Now here you are married, and, happily married with a child on the No, way. dude. That's not the point. The point is, I could have been a reality TV star, all right? And be, not even have to worry about working, radio, or anything like that. We could have had like two, three spinoffs by now and be done. We could have been on Dancing with the Stars as a washed up reality TV star at this point. Love but it. no, she wanted to choose to work a nine to five. Well, I hope you're happy. 
<laughs> I think you, you've inspired me now to oh, to go audition. Come on, bro, you should go is. audition. They, 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 they have a formula. They want certain. They're types. looking for people like you, Ty. Yes, they are. They have a. You they, uh, yes. yes, you're entertaining. They want entertainment. That's what. That's Unfiltered. Why you go. You can almost tell who's gonna make it far in those reality TV shows because they need people that create conflict because conflict that creates storylines. So if you ain't creating those storylines, you ain't gonna say. You, it's, it's easy for me to create a storyline. It's easy. It's got to be halfway interesting up there. I, I don't think I'm pretty enough, though. Ah, oh, dude, fine. nah, you're good. You're, you're you're attractive enough. Most Just people one of your hundred dollar haircuts. Yeah, shave a little bit. Do some sit ups. You'll be good. I Mo- need to do some sit ups. <laughs> yeah, most people are average. Shape. Speaking most- of Casey Stuttered, he did text me this week after a, I posted a, a a bit of a drunk story on Instagram after the Alabama game of me shirtless wearing a chain, and, and he said it was like, "Damn, Ty." He was like, he called me a tire. I think. What? He was like, he did you, got, tire. you got body shamed by Casey Sutter? Yeah. I love <laughs> oh, that. No. Big case. No. All right. So there's a good story on the uh, the reality TV star that uh, Rod almost was. There never get- was, man. Questions on the Specs text line. This says, how did Warren Sapp's big ass get second place? Dude, he's got sweet feet. Yeah. Sweet feet. Af- they're, they're athletes, man. It's just, it's, and you know what? Honestly, sometimes, as we know, it's like the when the short like Spud Webb wins the dunk competition or something. Sometimes seeing something so unorthodox <laughs> and uh, and non and unconventional, uh, dancing like he's a dancing bear out there. That actually is sometimes it it it, it kind of shocks you a little bit, and I think it adds to the spectacle. Yeah, he's a bigger guy, he's but he a can bigger move guy like moving that. you like That's damn. Why he was a sweet you know, feet. considered to be the number one prospect when he came out, yeah. kind of like Jalen Carter. If you're three hundred and some odd pounds and you can move like that. Yeah, those are great that's feet. An, that's an awe. That's an awe <laughs> element to it. Like, what the hell? How does he well, do that's that? Also, why NFL scouts love those guys too. Amen. Uh, man. Hey, so uh, interesting tonight in the NFL, Rod Babers. The um, by the way, I have a question for you on your Dancing with the Stars and your oh, bats yeah. or bats or idea. Throw it out there. I love it, man. So mm-hmm. you're, I, I see your plan. It was a I'm plan. I'm going to go on the show. I still love. I'm, I really like you. I'm going to come back to you and I, I'm going to commit to you to you mm-hmm. on the show, national television, national worldwide television. television. Yes, let every, exactly. But I've always wondered this because you didn't actually do it, so I don't. You, she can't answer. It's upsetting. But my theory is, you know, even the girl you, you pick or don't pick, your your lady's going to see. The, are you going to go to the honeymoon suite when she gives you the the, the opportunity? Are you going to? Um, I guess see, I would have to play that. It's the way I got to play. I got to play hard to get. You know, you're what your I gotta your pl- girlfriend's going back and watch the show. I got to play hard to get. So what I would basically be telling that other woman is, listen, I got too much respect for you. I I'm not going. I'm not going to make <laughs> you look like you know a hussy. I'm not going to make you look like some type of slut on TV. I would never do that. You're going to be my future wife potentially. Nobody Why would I want my future wife to look like some kind of skank on TV? I wouldn't do it. I respect you too much for that. And our daughter is going to see that one day. I want my daughter. I want our daughter to see the go. respect I have for you. All right, and receive the respect that our Ooh. that we have for this commitment that we made to each other. And this ain't America's bitch. This is our bitch. This is our thing. Man, I can imagine. You got it all know, figured I'm out. In, I'm right now, I'm in the zone right now, fitting game. Come on, man. You put me on that. Man, she'd have been a mesmerized. Come on, man. I'd have been in the like finals. Like, you're like, coach Prime saying. right now. Come on, man. I'm telling you, I had to play it oh, ready. Way, Give, me right. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my theme music. Give me my theme music. Give me my theme music. ready to go. <laughs> By the way, our, our friend, the horn psychologist, has diagnosed you, Rod. He says, good thing your wife had the ego strength to interrupt your grandiosity. She saved your life at a critical <laughs> psychological juncture. <laughs> she probably did. No, no question. You're right about that. My life would have went off the rails as a reality TV star. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell her where I'd be. That's right. That's right. Well, you are sounding like Coach Prime, and I love it.